In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how making simple changes in the title designer can lead to some very impressive results. There are some who would argue that the title designer is too primitive to make very quality titles. I would argue that you can do some very good things with it if you're willing to be creative. Let me show you an example. In the clip that you just saw, part of the attractiveness of the titles was related to the font and the movement as it lined up with that music. We can do that pretty easily in CyberLink PowerDirector Title Designer. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about how we accomplished what you just saw. I'm going to actually move off the main part of the clip and we'll take our title designer, we'll just take a raw default title that's not all that attractive and drag it down here into uh, track number two. Now what I'm going to do is emulate what we did before. I can click the F2 key to get into my title design window and then with the entire uh, content highlighted we'll change it from my title to uh, let's just call it a great uh, example. Now in the actual footage that you saw, I used a 20 point size. We'll keep this larger just because it's easier to see. But all I did was take that, that entire text and I changed the font to Trajan Pro and make it bold. Again, we'll move it a little bit. And then we're going to change some other features about it. Instead of a uniform color, all we did was we changed it to a two color gradient. So one side we kept white, the other side uh, we used a different color. Now I'm going to use the RGB values here to make it exact to what we did before. Uh, and the red was 77 and I hit my tab key. And, or the green was 101 and the blue was 115. And I click on OK. So now I have this shaded title. The other thing that we did is we moved it so that the, the gradient direction was right at 12 o'clock. In fact, I, it looks like I need to make this slightly smaller to fit within my boundaries here. So we'll go just from a 48, we'll go to a 40. And so this will be an example of what we're doing. Now the other thing that we did to uh, make the, the names of the talent for the movie come in is we added a little bit of motion, but I also added a shadow. And so before we get to the motion, we'll look at shadow and we did a distance. We left it at default at 3.0 and we did a fill shadow. And so that impacted the actual look of the font. Now we're going to look a little bit add another thing which is effect. We have a starting effect that we used. We started each of the names of the stars of the movie with a wipe right and again they're alphabetical so they're easy to find. So we'll change that to wipe right coming in. And then we also change the end of it. We'll go through the ending effect and we'll simply go down alphabetically to the fade. And if you look here, one nice thing I love about the title designer is you, if you hold the mouse over the left part where it's darker, you get to see what the end, starting f movement is and then what the ending movement is, ending effect. So when we go ahead and play this, it starts out with the name of the person and then in time with the music, it slowly does begin to fade. 
Now, the only trick you have to do to make this work is when you put it down in the timeline, you adjust the length of the starting effect and the length of the ending effect to work best with the music. But once we had that down, we just copied those values for the different uh, stars in our hypothetical movie. The other thing that we did is at the very end, we had the title be different from the rest of it. So when it came to the title of the movie, uh, we, all we did was change the size of the fonts and then we changed the starting effect. We did a slide down. So I'll simply move to my slide down option here. Click on this. And then when we got to the title of the movie, we had the same font, a uh, larger size, and it slid down and rested right here to the beat of the music. And it worked pretty good. So I'd like to encourage you to don't underestimate what you can do uh, in with the regular title designer here. Uh, you can make it look very, very impressive, again, as you tie it to the scene, as you tie it to the music. Um, it, it just does a wonderful job in CyberLink PowerDirector with just a few tweaks here and there.